Right now, brother Ira, what the man are you up to this Iowa? Why you wanna see I man as if you go take in a movie in you know, a Jason? This is Mikey Campbell, Dread Apple Controls from Jamaica, here to guide you through and show you the way. All the way from Jamaica to London town, this is the sound business. It's November 1980, and the number one champion sound, Sir Coxon, prepared to leave their Wandsworth headquarters to play a dance in Birmingham. Throughout England, an underground network of sound systems operate. They travel in teams, each with their own operators and DJs, to present reggae music to the people in the established Jamaican dancehall style. The sound system operator makes every record played a live performance. multitude of sounds come and go, each trying to get a foothold in the sound business. But Cox's sound have been operating under the leadership of Lloyd Coxon for over 18 years sound now. Sound is, is my life. I am in sound totally, you know. I don't have one foot in sound and one out. I am in sound, I run a sound. I am the team, you know. Passive. Introducing to you now the Cox and Posse. When you get a selection of new tunes, you know, and you put it on your DJ, lift up the head and you say, yeah, brand new, direct from Jamaica, one sound player. It's like a radio station, but it's not that advanced, really. It is the way the sound is delivering the music to the people. So you're playing it live all the time, you got to give them the best way you can. I'm controlling and I'm listening to the music and I've got to be listening to him as well, the DJ, what he's saying. So I can cut him and cut him out and cut him in, you know? We call it nice up the dance because when you cut the inner now you, you swing to it you know if i'm saying something and i would say like i would say rastafari right you want to make sure that the people here i say rastafari right because that's what we're really dealing with i can safely say without any any um objection or anything that our sound out there is the best out there right now because we pay a high price to make it the best and keep it the best. The wages what we get is just for the love of it and doing it. But there's certain discipline that we have on the sound. If you come, you come. If you, you're gone, you're gone. I mean, there's certain things that when we go out at night time, you do your fair share of work. As for the teamwork, I don't think there's a better team in England. <laughs> carry a big swing but you know the sound business is funny it's not it's not who's carrying the swing on the day really that is the best sound it's who can keep it up because you find good sound in sound and bad sound in sound the style he plays in the way they operate you can always tell what he's gonna make and you know young lines got the potential you know they really they try because I can see because they live near me and I can see what they're doing and I know they're trying Coxa Sound are based in Armory House in Wandsworth. In the same block, there are a number of younger sound systems. Young Lion have been together for over three years now, working as a tight team in the league of rival youth sounds. But now they have to work to gain recognition in the top league. 
four members of the sound live in the flat in Armour House, and the rest of the sound congregate there as the day goes by. Belonging to a sound system is to belong to an organization, to a team. You have selected people doing certain parts of the work. Stenit is the engineer. He also builds the speaker boxes for the sound. Karl, he operates the sound and looks for music. Reggae music. And that is the music the sound systems are carrying to the people. You know what's actually happening? Like in Jamaica now, um, a man will walk out in the street and he'll see something happen and he'll go and sing it on, he'll sing it on a record. And it's down to you how you take it. You might, you might, you might like the record because of the beat. Reggae music sends messages. Reggae music is universal, man. It's cultural, it's entertaining, it's relaxing. It is. You can get a whole kind of reggae music. You hear reggae music on the radio, and what the people they hear on the radio, right, they will always say it's the same. But you don't hear Burning Spear and Bunny Whale on the radio. They don't know them type of reggae music. But those are exclusive artists and exclusive music come from them. What do you hear on the radio? You hear Bob Marley, you hear Bob Marley hard. And Sugar Miner, yeah. But those, those reggae, and like um, Janet Kay and Steel Post, those reggae, yeah, them are alright. But the exclusive reggae don't reach on the radio. Maybe because they don't know about it. But yeah, oh yeah, Cabot, um, David Radigan. Yeah, David Radigan hard. But still, he can't put over to the people what we are trying to put over to people. It's a completely different experience. As you said, a white pop group will go in the studio, they'll have rehearsed the song beforehand usually, they'll spend hours laying it and dubbing it over and doing this, that and the other to it. Then eventually, they'll have the final mixed down master version, master tape. That'll be mastered on a record and released, and that's the end of it. And the only kind of excitement generated by it is that perhaps the radio stations will get um, advanced copies of it before it's actually released on the street and those records actually have DJ copy written on it, a promotion copy. Jamaican experience is entirely different. It's based on a fanatical love of the music which is far, far outgrows anything that the English musical experience has ever had. Or uh, what what the at the same tune, may I tell you about, may I have a fear in red. <laughs> Waterhouse yeah, rock, but you have to go pay for the tape. Wicked! I can't get the tape, I need money. I tell you. you know Waterhouse rock? No, I've never heard of that. Which one? When the front line of play, we have to wheel in soul. And you know how what a feeling what you have? Yeah. Wheel in soul style, yeah. oh, what a feeling. The rhythm. And me say, oh, oh, what a feeling. Wicked. A feeling. We kid Rasta wheeling soul, but the water house rock. Mm. Some of them now have no uh, house. Water house rock. Some of them now have no house. Water house. My go feet right now. Jamaica is over 5,000 miles away, and music comes into this country by various means. The sound man's job is then to find it. To see tapes changing hands is not easy, as it might happen anywhere, wherever the sound man runs into the artist or producer. Everyone's got his contacts, you know what I mean? And everyone wants new records, so everyone is searching. So you've got to make sure you have an exclusive contact when you know you get yours. Like, in Channel One, a tune just made today and you know that you've got someone in Jamaica in the studio at the same time listening to the tune and it's just made you get your piece off at right first and you know you're, you're the first song who's playing it. People's glad to give Coxon music. Coxon's the number one, right? They know the music field and they're about when music is making, you know what I mean? They're there so they would get a copy on a cassette or a tape. Or like I say, some of them they move with artists, you know what I mean? They're just about where the runnings is, you understand Julian? They grow up where it is. Yeah. Most of the songs that are coming now, right? Most of the guys were born in England, right? And they don't really know no one from Jamaica. You find to say that people like Lloyd and Festus, they might have grown with Dennis Brown from school days or Gregor Isaacs, because they're all in the same age group and Jamaica is a small country. Not even that. They're always in Jamaica, right? On holiday or on business, whatever. So you just get to know people, you get contacts. If he's got a music, well, he knows Coxon's the best person to get that music because he's going to get the most promotion. 
it's 50-50, you know, because um, the sounds need, need good music. I mean, and you need a promotion. So if, if a sound man says, oh, I'm not going to play no sugar mine at music, then we never, um, he's playing against the next sound. The next sound might just took him with two sugar mine at music, and he's going to feel embarrassed, he can't find none. I'm going to see if I can find Diga. If I can't find him, I'm going to go to Brixton. See if I can find Dubmaster. If I can't find him, maybe by then I might buck up on Natty from Frontline. He might be able to give me one or two music. You know what I mean? It's just a whole thing, you know what I mean? No, 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 it's not it. But you know the Stock Newton, would there be any out there? Rude. Having got hold of the tape, it is every sound man's job to then get into one of the three or four cutting rooms in London to cut his own copy onto acetate. This is called a slate. We call it dub plate. Murderous. As well as a straight copy, dubs are cut. A dub is a remix, a rough mix, an instantaneous mix. When Festus, one of the dub cutters for Cox Sound, goes into the studio with a tape, he remixes as much as the tape will allow. You can cut the vocal, the first version. Then you might cut the second version without no voice at all in it, just a raw rhythm. Then you might put a little voice intermittent in the third one. You see? And then the fourth one, now you can... Having paid anything up to 25 pounds for the use of the tape, the sound system operator uses his imagination to create as many different versions from it as he can, bringing in and out vocal and rhythm tracks and adding effects, which results in the coxer sound having a cut exclusive to his sound system. In the dancehall style, they say, this one is one in the island. In a dance, the sound will make a point of telling the crowd and the other sound systems playing that the tune they are about to play is exclusive. Brand new from Kingston, Jamaica. Kingston, Jamaica. It often happens that the other sound will also have a cut of the same tape and he will play back his versions. Whenever two or more sounds meet in a dance, there's underlying competition. And throughout the year, cup competitions are held. But once a year, a Gold Cup dance is held in Acton Town Hall where three or four top sounds battle it out for music, for quality of sound, and for style of presentation. Cox Sound won the 1980 Cup. This is a very special song from out of Kingston, Jamaica, Joe Gibbs Recording Studio. A song was made by some of Jamaica's most famous superstars, ladies and gentlemen. It's a song we call Fight on the Black Sign. Louis is a bloke now, he knows that if the sign is going into the cup dance, he's not going to let, he wants the sign to come out with the cup. And he wants it for nothing else apart from the cup. It, otherwise, the sign isn't going inside at all. Right, so Lloyd said, well, we just bought some wood, so we're going to build some new boxes. And Lloyd went to Jamaica. We only expect him to come with about 10 dubs just to win the dance, you know, but he came up with a mint of dubs because everyone in Jamaica was so glad to see him. They just started throwing music on him, knocking him out with all my things, right? Anyway, when he came and we, just, we started playing, we didn't know what was what because they don't have labels on them, right? Yeah. We started marking them and certain tunes we didn't, we didn't even know what to call them. Some tunes we just called a 7 o'clock dub and 8 o'clock dub and 9 o'clock dub, knowing that well, when 7 o'clock comes, this is the tunes that's going to play. Because we didn't have no time to put labels or nothing on them. It was Everything was a rush because we had to get to the dance at 5. And by the time we got to Lloyd, it was summit to 4. 
So before we started playing the music, it was almost time. So when five o'clock come, we was about halfway through them. And Lloyd was getting mad because Lloyd wanted to get to the dance early. Pistols wanted to get to the dance area. They wanted to get to the dance area. But anyway, the others was here packing up the truck and all the equipment together, making sure everything was plain. Amplifier, we just got them valve. Anyway, we got to the dance, right? And it was a real, it was like, it was chaos between me and Festus really, because there was no names on the music, right? It was just some little writing, seven o'clock, or, or even one of them, we had, we had sunshine on it, right? We, did, we just put a little sunshine one day knowing that this is the tune we're gonna play at a certain time, you know? And it was only one tune with a marking that Lloyd wrote, he wrote on it, Cup Winner. That's all he wrote on it. And that was, he had that slate separate from all the rest of the slate. And he said, when you play this tune, this tune's gonna win the cup. Because he had that one specially made for that dance. A tune called Five Man Army. I couldn't make the one, 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 one tune, uh, Five Man Army, with um, Wayne Weird. Um, Al, Al Campbell, Campbell. Chandler, 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 yeah, and Roddy, Roddy Thomas. Five different artists on one tune. And did I hear them tune again, you know? Mm. Uh, you didn't hear them tune there. That, that, that is true. They have tune, right? They have so much tune. Do you know, you know the late night blues? Festus, you know the late night blues? Yeah. You have hear the couple of festers got? China mm. dub is a trouble yeah. to our song. With the same rhythm as yeah. later. Two goes wrong with tune. China dub is a trouble to our song and they have ranking Tyrant down at the bottom. To be the A1 sound depends not only on the exclusive music featured, but also on how the sound is played. No, no. It's only up when it's cut down. Yeah. Can you see when it's cut down? So that's the festa. Like I put all my money, like I take all my trousers on bit on festa when it's cut, cut down. It, it's just the way he plays, you know. He just makes you stand up and watch him, right? First, because I was just looking and saying, oh, the great festas, you know, the great festas from Cox and Sound, you know. <laughs> to England now. To, it's England I really know all of it. But I know it all from Jamaica still because all the sound was in Jamaica around me. But coming here and getting seen all the equipment and everything, you know, <laughs> was just amazing. <laughs> I used time and I'm playing a song. When to cut and when not to cut. That's it. More nice a lot weird than it, just cutting and doing what you're doing. Some people just boom, boom. And it's out of tune completely. But if you have seen Chris read it, it's much better. The sound system operator makes every record played a live performance. So that each time a record is played, it's no, different. Nice, not even the music more still than just playing it straight and normal to the people. Just. The operator knows his music. To the extent he can use his split, treble and bass amplifiers to conduct instruments in and out of the music as he feels. That was a piano just when I went like that was a piano I just brought up in. But I knew it was coming. Yeah. And This is really the dub side now, playing. The dub side is mean by creating as you go along on the dub, you see. Just creating certain little things with a nice record.
so like a fierce idea. I've always been interested in playing because I just used to stand up and watch Festus, just stand there watching him playing, you know. I always used to say, yeah, I want to do that. From then, I used to just, every little time I could get a little play off the sound, like when it was signing on and no one wasn't in the dance, I used to just get to sign it on. Then when Lloyd went to Jamaica and Festus went, he just said to me that you're playing the sound now. He said, you got to play the sound because we're going to Jamaica. And <laughs> that's where it started and they just give me the job of playing it because he likes the way I play, you know. Did you handle that okay? Yeah. I had to, I didn't have no other choice. <laughs> I had the biggest sound in England at my, <laughs> right in front of me. You think I could fluff that? <laughs> it's just a part of your every night training. The timing of the music and knowing the music and knowing when the artists work, because you find some music, in a dub mix, right, it would be different from the commercial mix. Because in a dub mix, you might get the artist sing halfway through the vocal and it stops and it goes into a dub. You've got to know all those things, you know? You've got to know. You play the vocal, then they might draw the piece with the intermittent voice behind the vocal. Then you draw the raw rhythm without no voice, the third one. Then your DJ steps into that one and do his thing on that one. When he comes and play a different style, chapter three, the man can't face of the crucial upper weight and way down the studio one style. Now he comes a musical chapter, the music man can't face the slims up the adapter. Man call Festus, really makes no fuss. And all you gotta do is stink with us and eat the crust and don't get crushed, a big year. Yeah, you know? The DJ is important to a sound. That's how I see it. It's important. You have to have a good DJ. Especially a reggae sound. sound. Especially to a pull crowd. Yeah, man. Especially, that's our principle of a reggae sound. Yeah, like reggae sound. Like if it comes to the version or something like <coughs> that, the people would like. <coughs> if there ain't a DJ on the music, they'd like to, to hear a DJ DJ on the sound to the music instead of just rocking to the version just like that. All I gotta do really is just tell him, listen to the vocal and this is such and such singing. Yeah. And from then he knows the runnings. From I lift up the needle to turn over the music, he starts. It's not real, it's not real. It's, it's not, not real. It's just calm. It, it, yeah, it's, it's just natural, it's just a, a feeling. Like when Carl's gonna put on a music and he's taking off a music and he's just gonna put one on, I would just say like, combination two really good for you. And like if he's playing, Combination one, I'll say. Mirror can't play combination one, play Tom and Dexter, make it feel well grand. You, you got a style of talking. You can't go in there and speak like an Irish or, you know, or a small island, or, you know? You've got to speak like a Jamaican, a, a ranks, that's what they call it. A ranks. A ranks is someone, someone not bad, but he's got style, you know? You've got to have style to do it. You can't go in and all that. You know, you've got to be up there and your chest out and everything to give a good performance and feel good. If you go in and you're down and out, you know, it's no good that way. It's the art of doing it. If you're going to say something, if I was going to say, if I was going to say music, if I was going to, if I was going to introduce a record, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say Gregory Isaac selection, combination one. I would say, now here comes man called Greg Riser combination when I do play the Iowa Milico Shack Attack or play the track to make your nerves crack. You know, <laughs> you probably wouldn't understand, but the pe main people in the dance, they would know what I'm talking about. It's very fast, but it's sensible what I'm saying. What I'm saying is Gregory Isaac selection, part one, musical shack attack. Musical shack attack means, shack attack means it's a it. You know, it's a it shot. Instead of saying it shot, you say shack attack. And I say I play on the track. On the track means the track, you know, on the turntable. You know, to make your nerves crack. That means to make you feel good. It's just the lyrics, you know. I think the DJ's job in the dance is the artist's job. Because he has to be there chatting all the time. Whereas the operator thinks his job is the artist's job. <laughs> Don't know why. Can he come in sleep or lie? Little Miss Legal Life. 
Come make a little miss legalize. Wow! Can't you know a little girl name legalize? No a little girl name legalize. All she want a rubber dub every night. All she want a rubber dub every night. But there have been times when the record stops, when the record finish, and there's nothing in your mind to say. There's absolutely nothing to say. Sometimes we find the odd dance that you go to, and I don't know what the problem could be. Could be the place, or could be I don't know. Could be the song you're playing with. Could be anything. But you find that you just don't feel right. The vibe's just not right. I've got about five Jamaican tapes here. Before I go out, if I'm here, I play them, and I get a sort of a Jamaican feeling in me. Like if I'm tired and I'm going out, I usually play, you know. Like when I'm going to Clarendon Hotel on a Sunday, I'm, I usually come here, you know, and play my tape and I just sit down and listen to it. And I, I train myself to, you know, to say that I'm feeling good, just to get the feeling. The reason for that, as I told you before, the environments were around them. Them have a lot of much more things to talk about in Jamaica more in England. Because in England, you're locked up in a room for, for uh, 24 hours. That means you don't walk on the road and see what's happening. But in Jamaica now, you don't stay in your house. Because if you stay in your house in Jamaica, you will be hot. But if in England now, it's cold, so you have to stay in your house. So when you come outside on the street, you see more things going on. Bad, good, indifferent, worse, and everything. So you, you kind of pick. Lyrics and say, well, boy, I go down the road this man, I see a man drop and a woman lift him up and rare it. You know, because in England now, you hardly see certain things. What you supposed to do and record? You know what I mean? Because in England now, it's different vibes. Most vehicle and house, you know? Each and every one stay inside more. So, in England now, you walk about and really look around and see what's going on in, in Jamaica. Because the sunshine is there, so every people just there on the street. So that's why you see reggae music develop in Jamaica, because it's a lively country. It is not dead because you don't have um, winter come. The time doesn't change. The time does stay so hot all the while, sunshine. So everybody's on the street. Music is on the street. Plenty and happiness and everybody, you know, feel nice. So you get more idea. <laughs> DJ in England also draws his lyrics from what he sees going on around him. The sound system DJ is similar to the DJ on the radio in that he will deliver his views on local news and current affairs. A lot of people think that Rasta don't really know about politics, don't want to know about politics. Well, it concerns all of us, you know. I myself, I read a newspaper a lot. You know, if I read a newspaper and I see something interesting, right, I would say to myself, well, that's interesting. And if I remember it when I get to the dance, right, I would say something about it on there to let the people know that we are dealing with that as well. And I play one called the New Cross, Fire and Murder, you know? Uh-uh, a different style, disaster style. New Cross, Fire, a disaster. Live it up! Cause in a brand new style Cause in a brand new style Kimbo the fire don't a new cross Talking about the fire don't a new cross Can me say sister class say that that a get lost In England, it's hard for Rastas to get on, you know You can't say you're gonna cut yourself off from all other ways and just stick with Rasta You've got to mix with it or else you wouldn't survive, you wouldn't get no jobs and all that. I DJ about unemployment, I DJ about National Front, I DJ about Doll Q, anything that's concerning the people. I did one in Brixton Town or about the hostages, I don't know if you heard that. I say that it was 50 white men, 2 black men, the lot live in Iran. I was telling him about the Ayatollah, I was saying that Iran has to get the ransom, it's a big lump sum. I was saying that America have a new president in the resident, you know, I just rhyme them as I go along. American have 
American have a new president in a de resident. <laughs> new president in a de resident. Sometimes it would happen that there'd be a lot of us in the corner wanting to talk. So we find all seven talking, you know what I mean, on the same tune. So we used to call that seven the hard way. Man called Hansen. Used to live in the place called Wilson. I know him live at Wandsworth. And I tell you, there's dread like dirt in the place called Wandsworth. Yeah, you know. Say! Come and teach him, cause he's living up and not to bubble up. Some bubble go, man, not to rub and go down. Oh, he comes and play a different style, chapter 3. The man can't face so the coach up a weight and weigh down a studio one style. Flash him my whip, flash him my whip. And this means cause this will make you jump and skip. And flip your hip around and say. Means cause this can't please the man, means cause cook a basket. All you gotta do is dance. Sound systems traditionally operate custom built equipment. Stenet builds the speaker boxes for a young lion. Well, I'm building a reflex box. It's like a bass pin. The reason why I build it, because when the bass hits, right, it hits a piece of wood that's going to be here, right? There's wood going to be there, and there, and there, and there, and there. So when it hits here now, the wood here, it comes all the way around here, around here, then down there. So you get a deeper bass now and a better sound. Young Lion know that in order to reach the standard of sound they are aiming for, their equipment has to be of a quality and a power equal to that of the top sounds. You have to go you to, you have to move better. up to get better equipment. Like you, you might buy a little car, then you buy a bigger car, then a better, then a faster car. It's just like the sound. Car in sound business is always competition. Yeah. And so you have to be the best or one of the best. So you always have to try to dip in other rooms in the seat where so just go down. The speaker boxes are large. Not only are they a visual display of power, when a sound arrives in a hall, but they need to be the size and strength they are in order to take the vast amounts of power pushed through the amplifiers. 360 that's 3,800 watts we have for ourselves at present. And at no time have I ever played all of it together, you know. Well, I like to play the best really at all times when I'm playing, you know. The best equipment that I think will be the best of my sound to play at the time. So I'd go with the Mr. Errols. At night time and weekends, Errol builds amps and preamps for sound systems up and down the country. He is well known and respected throughout the sound business. He builds and repairs their amplifiers and designs new equipment for the sound systems to play. One of his latest pieces of equipment is a special effects box. That's really how I come to get this gunshot. You say, boy, boy, I really wanted to play to it, but at Mr. Errol, we were doing it, and I just hear that sound one time, he touch a touch, and I said, hold it there. I want that sound. <laughs> sound systems will go to him wanting a particular sound effect, which he will then try to create using his computer.
tube, the tube of wire goes to the top spots, and the grey and black wire goes to the, um, and the white wire goes to um, the base box. I give it to the man who's up there to tie it up there. And then I run it to, uh, to the box and tie it up that part up there. And I tie it, um, tie it down to the box and wire it up. We all share the work. The Jamaican sound systems in this country, they're actually living in a country, in a city, which is one of the world centres for technological equipment to do with sound recording and sound presentation. I mean, you've got everything, you know, that you could possibly need in London in terms of good quality sound equipment that you could ever need. So there's no excuse for not having that equipment. The sound system is a very original thing, you know. Without having those boxes and the amplifier the way we have it, it wouldn't create an atmosphere. You understand? It, it does create an atmosphere with the wire stringing all over and many boxes and, you know, you come in and see a, see a sound with 20, 30 speakers and you're just dying to hear it string up, you know, to hear what it's going to sound like. You have to keep the sound with those boxes as it is because that represents sound. When you're playing sound, you go places that you've never been before and you meet people that you've never seen before. It's, well, it's not boring, you know what I mean? Because really, nearly every week you're out and about doing something in a different area where you've never been before and that's exciting, you know what I mean? You meet people that you've never seen. In, in the places where we play and where we are, we have to play all kinds of music to please the people. You see, because in London, well, in Battersea mainly, Battersea in this area, the people are funny, they're like mainly lovers rock in this area. But when you, you go places like North London now, up there is different. Because in some parts of London, you go to places and people don't appreciate good music. You see, they like to hear, as I said, like Shaka, you get people that like to hear them kind of music all the while. You see, and really, to me, it gets boring after a while. They are ready, you know what I mean? For standing yeah. there together. Separately, separately, we heard them separately. I heard them when, it when, when he when first done one, we heard it. We, we heard one it. of them. Because we're eager to hear ourselves, you know. <laughs> we're very eager. Yeah, man, that's um, wicked. <laughs> Serious, wicked. We are until you hear them, then you'll know. When you hear that section playing, the bass that's going to come out of it, you're just going to feel it. You know what I mean? Feel it. Yeah. Put it over there. Put it over there. What's wrong? Where's the preamp? Send it's gone through. This is a crucial part of now. Hearing yeah. the song clear. Yeah, you know? That would mean well here. Yeah, the one. Oh, okay. The small one, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the small one. Oh, the small one. Oh, the small one. Oh, the small Oh! 
that we have in that I have in sound you know for all the years I know that it is it is going to be hard you know to to buy a home for my children or for first or soldier with the sound for a long time or the t entire team for we to make money out of that that each one of us could buy a home to put our children if it's in I don't see we could make money out of the sound to do that as a team so we have to venture in different areas, you know, trying to set up a few, few shops and to, to control what we produce, <coughs> press, it, press it and control it, you know what I mean, and to, to create more employment among our team. You know. A lot of sound, young sound might try to follow Coxon. If you see where we have developed from one speaker box, a sound that is just starting to want everything at this immediate time to come in the runnings. In this time, 81, it, it's going to be hard for them, you know, because everything's getting more expensive and everything. So you're going to find the holders who have built their sounds are going to have to pack it in sooner or later because it's gonna that's how, that's how expensive it's gonna be for them because if you haven't got a name in the business already you know it's hard. The dance we have here now is the first 81 dance we're gonna play in a big show and it's against Stereograph, Shaka and Coxie. You see so what that dance means to us now if we was to do anything which is wrong you know Wrong to that we, down. we can go it's down. a chance we go up or go down. Yeah. Which is the first time we're playing yeah. in that type of thing. We're nervous a little bit. Oh. Anybody would be nervous a little bit, you know what I mean? Seventeen January nineteen eighty one. Young Lion are now leaving for the National Sounds Arena, Brixton Town Hall, where Sir Coxon are even now arriving. Like a new chance, sister. A young lion. He turned this blood clot and I'm a boss. He ate that blood clot. I hate that. I feel you feel. What is your business about? 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 There's no prize or cup for this dance. It is just the crowd who will judge. The mighty Jashaka, spiritual dog warrior from the southeast London. London's A1 sound, Sir Coxon, the strong tower, 
and also in the hall with these two high-ranking dub machines from the south, sound called Stereograph, and the younger one of today, Young Lion. One, one, testing my chest, you know? One, two, testing. My check, testing one, you know? Like a national, you know? My check one, like a national. One, one, testing one. One, two, testing, like a national, you know? One, two, testing one, you know? Testing one, for playing on the national, so passing for the champ. Testing, you know? One, two, testing, for playing on the national, you know? Testing one. Testing one, you know? Testing, you know? One, two, testing one. Testing one, two, testing. First to sign on, Stereograph with chubby youth at the control is vital in a battle in a rubber dub style. The mighty Jashaka, triple drum and bass. Number one champion sound like Sir Cox with Blacker at the control. Yeah, you know, love is lovely in one we's kinda ugly. So make love not one, we got stay far. Man can't black out with I leave my rules and one can't bike you number one champion sound like Coxon or O Wide World. Rubber them style and play special request in a popular demand after a storm see the must be a calm, you know? Boom. Now the young contender, young Latin, rocking away with a different style of music to make the crowd go wild. of standing tall in a dark hall. It's right now, finale is the sound. You just do the world going around the town. Go back to the world. Oh, now this is Sir Cox International. Good day. to be married. It's the man of my champ. That's all I can't see. Man call black call and man call Levi Roots and I buy friend and my phone say. Forward ever and a backward kind of never. We got to tune to the number one song. Yeah. Yeah. Still, not to be true. Yeah. Shaka, he 
here comes the musical spiritual dub rocker. David Stein and the music of Mwash Dung the Arena. Good day, all lion. the chance now it ain't worth it again you know what i mean as sound men, we try to live together better. I mean, we're not fighting a war. Our only war that we fight is, is a musical war. That is what we fight among our brethren when we play against them. But we still come out the next day and love each other, have good conversation, have a good laugh about what happened at the dance Saturday or Friday night, you know. It's just when we string up, every man is striving to come out on top. I will stay with this sound because I don't see myself doing nothing for the time being. But after a while, you just grow out of it, you know? It's something that you grow out of, and someone else is going to come and want to do what you're doing, and you've got to give them a chance. It's like Fisus gave me my chance, you know? And all those others before me who come to learn and who's going to other sounds, you know? They all learn. And you do something else, perhaps I want to produce some music, you know? Because I feel I know enough about music to go out and produce a music that can sell.
every Thursday night, one stop, the Body Eye Club, Chet Hamai Road. This week, Thursday night, I have a song called Stereograph, you know. When I don't even name Stereograph. This is every song that the bass call Clarin and Hotel Amasmith Broadway. You got the song like Fat Man on this song. Also man called that. And got to remember, say every Sunday night the bass call for Aces Club. I saw this coming Sunday, you know? Uh -uh. This coming Friday, the bass call Newlands Club, I we come. You got the song like Rockers International and with no man champions and all white world like Cox International. You got to be merry, man say. Black Uru. Signing off now from this explosive cultural adventure, this is yours truly, Mikey Dredd saying, keep your eyes open for the next dance on your corner. The guy that I protect, you know, it's the last guy I live with. Protection until time, you know.